Dunedin man Tony Pemberton has been doing this for nearly 20 years, clearly enjoying the company of seagulls, having them flock to him, and in some cases, eating out of his hand. He enjoys the time with birds and says it gives him a sort of peace. They're entertaining for me. Uh, it's nice that they trust me enough to come in as close as they do, as often as they do, uh, and still remain wild. I, I like, I like having, having that every day. It's a, nice, it's a nice connection to nature, which I don't get working in the mall. His bird feeding has been a regular sight for people around the centre of Dunedin. Pemberton says after nearly two decades of feeding the birds, they trust him, although he isn't prone to making sudden movements. Same thing every day. <laughs> I, I don't chase them off. Uh, I, don't, I don't wave my arms around and scream when they come in and land on my shoulder. Uh, and they know, they know I'm not going to hurt them. Uh, yeah. after, after a while they get very trusting. Yeah. Uh, as long as you, you keep your emotions calm and treat them gently. Uh, they'll, they'll do that to anyone who does, <laughs> who does the same. A film clip of him with a seagull on his hat has been popular on Facebook, which he says doesn't bother him at all. And Pemberton says feeding the birds for him is calming. This, this is my escape from the concrete jungle. Uh, so I, I come out under the trees in the sunshine hopefully, and there's a wee bit of sunshine in winter, uh, and the birds come down to share my lunch. Uh, it's, it's a nice break during the day, it's something I look forward to. In 19 years of doing this, he says he's learnt a bit about their behaviour. He first began doing this when he started working in the centre of Dunedin, and has no plans to stop. Darrell Baser, The South Today.